One thing we've noticed in trainings is that participants are always very anxious to learn what science content shifts exist with the new standards. The Disciplinary Core Ideas, or DCIs, are the dimension of the NGSS that addresses these questions. The intention for this activity is to understand how the DCIs are structured and the philosophy behind them, but not to get into specific grade level questions. Since this activity consists of a PowerPoint presentation and two discussions, make sure you offer many opportunities to field participant questions and concerns. This activity starts with the philosophical underpinnings of the DCIs. There's actually less science content than the previous standards, with the intention that educators have the time and space to go for greater depth of understanding. It means a departure from the mile-wide, inch-deep paradigm in education, which participants are often very pleased to hear. From there, we get into the structure and anatomy of the DCIs. You can walk participants from science down through the actual DCIs. After you go over the criteria that the writers of the NGSS used to select the actual disciplinary core ideas, you will want to give participants a chance to apply it. For part three, you can show the DCI handout on the screen, ask them if they think that the DCIs do meet at least two of the four criteria that the NGSS set out. Why or why not? Make sure to read the lesson plan where we share some useful techniques we've found to help facilitate the discussion. From here, you can get into some of the component ideas of the DCIs, the bottom row, to whatever detail you see fit. Once participants have seen the component ideas, you can also point out that they now have the ability to read some of the codes used throughout the NGSS literature. For instance, PS4B is simply the physical science discipline, DCI number four, component idea B. Knowing the basics of these codes will help them when they're trying to read the performance expectation tables later on. For the last portion of this presentation, you will want to give participants the chance to look at the progression of a single DCI. You can acknowledge that while it would be far too much in one sitting to go over all of the DCIs, it does help to see the structure of a single one to see how it progresses across the K-12 curriculum. They should talk about how it builds from the lower grades to the upper grades and anything else they notice and wonder about it. So in summary, after this activity, teachers will hopefully understand the philosophy behind the content shifts and disciplinary core ideas, the anatomy of the DCIs and how to read the codes, and an idea of how one DCI progresses across grade levels. Don't forget to check out the lesson plan for this activity.